My name is Kayla Mock and I am the Executive Director of the Emporia First Friday Art Walk. It's just an organization that helps um, local artists um, present their work to the community um, and one of the unique things that we do that a lot of other art walks don't do is that we place the artists inside local businesses. Um, that way, you know, it's not a hindrance to the business, it's actually an enhancement um, so people can come in and walk around and uh, check out the local businesses and the artwork. Partner Joel and I started the Art Walk in November of 2016. Um, we, we really just saw a need for it in the community. Um, I was working at the Emporia Arts Center and it was probably almost every day that an artist would come in and say, hey, you know, I make this thing, I really want to sell it here, you know, but there just wasn't enough room. So, you know, after so many times of that happening, I was like, okay, we, we got to do something about this. So. We had, I think, six venues and artists that participated in that first one and um, probably about 30 people that came out and man, we were excited. We thought that was so awesome, um, but it really was. Like it was really um, a boost for the artists. Um, they sold some pieces and, you know, got their names out there to those 20 or 30 people who came. And since then it has just grown and grown. Um, and now like a, a small scale art walk has you know, at least 100 people, and then and it goes on up from there, so. As the event grew, um, we realized that we needed a dedicated space um, for our operations, um, and so last year we did our first um, don't, uh, partnership drive, um, and that was very successful. We raised um, $34,000, and this year um, we're right at about $40,000, so that's businesses that sign up to be um, partners and also individuals. It's crazy just how much it's grown even in the last year or two. Um, we're working a lot um, with Visit Emporia right now on a public art committee um, to get more like murals and public art downtown and throughout Emporia. Uh, my favorite thing has been, okay, so there's a young lady and her name is Claire. She's 12 years old or was at the time and I had been trying to get her for about two years. I'd been like, oh, Claire, you know, you're so good at drawing. Like, why don't you do the art walk, you know? And she's like, I'm just not ready, Kayla. I'm just not ready. And I'd be like, okay, okay. Um, and finally, um, I think it was March of this year, she decided that she was ready. Um, and she came, she had some prints made and she came out and, um, and did the art walk and she sold every single print that she had. And I'm telling you, like, when she started, you know, she was very nervous and reserved and then by the end of the art walk she was just standing tall and had the biggest smile on her face and like, and that's what it's all about, you know, is, is um, instilling that confidence in young artists and so that was a pretty special moment. What our goal for this year is, is to raise money to um, get our print lab operational. Um, one of the most frequently asked questions that we get is how can I make prints of my artwork? So this is one of the ways that we want to really help um, artists in our community is by making prints of their original paintings. Um, this is a painting um, by Joel Smith and so like this would sell for about $300 um, but if he can make prints of his work he can sell these for about $30 and so um, if he's able to sell multiples of these um, not only do more people get to enjoy this painting of, it's called Wrinkles, <laughs> as you can see why, but that way more people get to enjoy it and then also, um, you know, he's able to make that a little bit much more of an income. Um, so I think just working on more projects like that, um, but also keeping the art walk, you know, continuing to move forward and, and help the local artists. We would like to offer more like workshops, um, for artists like how to make prints of their work, how to frame their work, um, how to um, price and present, you know, if they're just doing a pop-up show and they just have a table, like how can you present in a way that's gonna be, you know, um, more enjoyable and shoppable for customers. It means the absolute world to have um, fine people that um, support the hopes and dreams of myself and, and all of the other Match Day organizations. Um, it just, it means a lot that they're, that they're able to um, financially support dreams. Thank you, yeah.